Uh, next up, we have from Tiny Giants, Danielle Calabrese. So picture this. I'm at the playground with my two girls, ages one and two, and both of them are melting down. Both of them are hungry, tired. I reach into my bag for a healthy snack, and all I have are those little tiny sugary fruit snacks. I tear the top off, I give them the fruit snacks, and I quickly realize I'm just making the problem worse. I don't know about you guys, but if I were to give my kids cookies and dairy for every meal, they 100% would take it. I'm Danielle Calabrese. I'm the co-founder of Tiny Giants, a kid's snack food brand, food they actually want to eat. We just launched our first product. It's a non-dairy probiotic yogurt in a easy-to-use squeeze pouch. We packed in extra probiotics to weight off those playground germs because we all know kids are gross and <laughs> for a little extra immune support. We are certified organic. We're non-dairy. We are low in sugar and no added sugar, which to me as a mom is something that's really important. I think about it all the time. We all know that healthy snacks for kids is on the rise. The global market for probiotics is huge. And alternative yogurt is up 53% year over year. We have been live now only for six weeks. We're currently, as of today, in 20 natural retail markets throughout Southern California. We want to be a national brand within the next 12 months. And Tiny Giants wants to be wherever kids and parents are, whether that's the grocery store, the coffee shop, the airport, the juice bar. We want to be there for parents and kids and families in their darkest hours, their most desperate moments. Tiny Giants is more, we're more than a yogurt brand. We are a kid's snack food brand. We're on a mission to fuel the superheroes of tomorrow, our kids, to empower them to make better food choices. We plan on innovating in proven categories on classics that we all knew and grew up with and loved. We are, our efforts right now, we're, we're more than a brand that, we're a brand for kids to really interact with. We, our marketing efforts are focused in retail, so we're focused on aggressive store promotions, demos, retail marketing, but at the same time, we're also building this amazing community of engaged parents as well. We love doing in real life events. That's my daughter up there. We did this pumpkin patch event this past Halloween where we built a photo booth and kids were able to interact with the brand characters. So everybody tried the product, it was super fun. We want Tiny Giants to be that product that kids reach for, that they want, that they have to have every time. So it's our jobs as parents to give our kids better options and even the Kids better food. <laughs> Thank you. Great job. I'll have you. I'll have you keep a mic. We'll go over there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's a lot. He, you know, plant-based yogurt well. I do I think? Yeah. I hope. Yeah. 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 Um. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah. I mean, I love, from the packaging standpoint, love it. It's engaging. Kids would love it. Um. I think the only couple, just two quick questions on it. It would be one on the food safety side, in the sense of like. How, what's the kill step? What's the process? And then knowing that uh, you got probiotics is kind of the, the main uh, reason to, to, to be. It's in kids of, of age range from, you know, to say one to 10 that might be trying the product. Uh, as a, as a, as a, a parent, I, I might be a little bit worried about the probiotics and giving my kids probiotics and how much dose am I giving them and What's yes. the reaction going to be? And, and age will change that uh, dosage, I, I think, at least in people's minds. So how do, you, how do you guys get around that, or how do you think about that? Yeah. Good questions. Um, we are an HPP product, just so you know, from yep. the food safety perspective. Um, and obviously, cold chain refrigerated. Um, the probiotics that we use are also in infant formula. So it's, we have lots of testing and research yep. to prove that cool. they're safe for kids. Um, our packages, each pouch is a daily serving of probiotics. So there's 1 billion CFUs in each pouch. 
if a child were to have four pouches in one day, they're gonna be okay. okay. <laughs> it's safe. Okay. Um, and again, we have lots of data and research to back that up. Okay, good. How does a mom know that? Or a dad, mom or dad know that? Also a good question. The information's on the website. We obviously have limited resource, or limited um, retail space on the square footage on the pouch, but maybe that's something we could improve on. Um, we, you know, our message is that we're our daily, that's our daily dose of probiotics. Right. Okay, so there's no such thing as an overdose of probiotics for children? No, not as, I mean, like, you probably wouldn't give your kid 10, but um, if they do have four, it's, it's safe. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna get sick. From a retail perspective, where does this, where do you envision this being merchandised? So this is in the, right now we're in the dairy section. Um, we are, we're in the cold case, obviously, because we're refrigerated. And we're sitting somewhere, you know, with the other single serve yogurts or also with alongside other yogurt brands as well too. We would love to be in grab and goes. That's really, you know, end cap grab and goes. Um, we also could sit in the produce section, but really right now where we're focused on is the dairy case. You mentioned uh, that you were low in sugar. Uh, is that real between in the competitive set? Yes, it okay. is. Um, we don't add any sugars. Sure. We're f sweetened with fruit purees. Yep, I saw that. And um, if you taste the product, I don't know which flavor you tasted, but they're all they're pretty they're pretty mellow in yeah. sugar. Um, as a mom, it's it it is something I think about all the time yep. because kids just want sugar. I'm sure if you have kids, you know that. Yep. Um, so in comparison to other products, yes, we're, but we, we don't label low in sugar, but it's something we talk about a lot because yeah. we are lower. It, it, it feels like, you know, no added sugar, they're, they're, you know, having that claim might give um, consumers a reason why to take it. Um, yep. Yeah, that's a good idea. But, but I, I, I love this brand. I, I love this packaging. Thank you. I, think, I like Tiny Giants. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Great name. I, I think it's Very really cool. cool. Thank yep. you. Packaging's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I, I'm an adult, obviously. I thought it tasted great. Have, have you had a bunch of kids lined up and, and did some kid testing? Oh, yeah. Because moms are afraid they're going to buy, or I just say moms, I mean parents. Parents. Parents, yes, parents. are afraid they're going to buy stuff that, that are healthy and their kids aren't going to eat it. So how this is this recipe is 100% kid approved by my really picky toddlers. Um, but we've also done lots of testing with other kids at events, and we've done like you know formal tastings. People, the kids love the product, and what the feedback that we're getting is, oh my god, my kid, my kid can't have dairy. My and they they'll eat this. They love this. My kid is such a picky eater, and they'll eat this. Um, so, you know, to, to me, like I said in my speech, like my kids would eat dairy for every single meal. I wanted to, we wanted to create something that wasn't dairy, that had a function right. that they wouldn't know wasn't dairy. What's price point? I'm sorry. I'm right now. So for natural, we're in natural markets right now and we're around three bucks right now. Per, per pouch? Per pouch. Yep. Um, and we hope to, you know, we built this, we built this product for the conventional grocery store for, you know, a, a large retailer. And we are planning on being a lot closer to two once we grow into our volume. Well, I'm sorry to cut you off there, but we are out of time. Uh, but I so appreciate you joining us. Great job. Thank you.